He is known for being an early proponent of the idea that biological evolution occurred and proceeded in accordance with natural laws, and he is recognized for his major work on the classification of invertebrates. He fought in the Seven Years' War and was awarded a commission for bravery on the battlefield, and he retired from the army to pursue his interest in natural history and medicine. He is Jean-Baptiste Lamarck, a French naturalist, biologist, academic, and soldier. In the quaint town of Byzantin, France, a young boy named Jean-Baptiste Lamarck was born into a world bustling with intellectual curiosity and scientific exploration. Raised in a family of scholars, Lamarck's parents instilled in him a thirst for knowledge and a passion for understanding the natural world. As he grew older, Lamarck's fascination with biology deepened, leading him to embark on a remarkable journey that would shape the course of scientific history. However, life had other plans for Lamarck before he could fully dedicate himself to his scientific pursuits. Drawn into the Seven Years' War, he fought bravely on the battlefield and was commended for his courage. But it was during his recovery from a battle injury that Lamarck found solace in the study of natural history. Determined to learn more, he delved into the intricate world of botany, publishing his acclaimed work, Flore Francoise, which propelled him into the esteemed French Academy of Sciences. Lamarck's scientific prowess did not go unnoticed, and he was appointed to the prestigious chair of botany at the Jardin de Plants. His expertise in the field of invertebrate zoology led him to publish groundbreaking works, including the Système de Animo sans Vertebres, where he introduced the term, biology, in its modern sense. But it was his 1809 publication, Philosophie Zoologique, that would forever cement his name in the annals of scientific history. In this seminal work, Lamarck put forth his theory of inheritance of acquired characteristics, now known as Lamarckism. He proposed that organisms could pass on traits acquired during their lifetime to their offspring, suggesting a direct link between an organism's environment and its evolutionary development. While his theory faced criticism and debate, Lamarck's contribution to evolutionary thought cannot be underestimated. His cohesive framework of biological evolution, driven by an alchemical force of complexity and shaped by environmental adaptation, laid the groundwork for future generations of scientists to build upon. Today, as the field of transgenerational epigenetics advances, scientists continue to question the extent to which Lamarck's theories may hold true. Perhaps, in some way, Lamarck was ahead of his time, offering insights into the complex interplay between nature and nurture. Jean-Baptiste Lamarck, a soldier-turned-scholar, forever remains a protagonist in the grand narrative of scientific exploration, challenging our understanding of life itself. Jean-Baptiste Lamarck, a renowned French naturalist, embarked on a remarkable journey of scientific discovery that would forever change our understanding of evolution. Born into an impoverished aristocratic family, Lamarck's life took an unexpected turn when he joined the French army and displayed immense courage on the battlefield. However, a neck injury diverted his path, leading him to pursue a career in science. Lamarck's passion for botany led him to study under the guidance of Bernard de Jussu, a notable French naturalist. His dedication and keen observations earned him recognition in the scientific community, culminating in his membership in the prestigious French Academy of Sciences. As Lamarck delved deeper into his studies, he encountered new ideas that challenged the prevailing notion of unchanging species. After years of meticulous research, Lamarck presented a groundbreaking lecture at the Museum National d'Histoire Naturelle in 1800. In this lecture, he outlined his revolutionary ideas about evolution and transmutation, asserting that species undergo changes over time. This marked a significant departure from his earlier essentialist beliefs and laid the foundation for his profound philosophy. Lamarck's groundbreaking work on the classification of invertebrates further solidified his reputation as a pioneering scientist. In his comprehensive work, Système de Animo sans Vertebres, he introduced new definitions for natural groups among invertebrates. By separating arachnids, crustaceans, and annelids from the old taxon for worms, Lamarck reshaped our understanding of the animal kingdom. His contributions extended beyond classification and taxonomy. In his book, Hydrogeology, Lamarck advocated for a steady-state geology based on uniformitarianism, a term he himself coined. Through his writings, Lamarck embraced the idea that the Earth's geological processes have remained constant over time. Lamarck's philosophy of evolution, although initially met with skepticism, has had a lasting impact on our understanding of the natural world. His ideas continue to shape scientific discourse, providing us with valuable insights into the mechanisms of change and adaptation. By recognizing the fluidity of species and the forces that drive their transformation, we can better navigate the complexities of our own lives and embrace the ever-changing world around us. Jean-Baptiste Lamarck, a brilliant biologist and philosopher, was immersed in his work on hydrogeology when a revolutionary idea struck him. Inspired by the principle of erosion, Lamarck began to apply this concept to the field of biology. 
This groundbreaking insight led him to develop the basic principle of evolution, which proposed that the fluids and organs inherit more complex forms and functions, passing on these traits to future generations. In his extensive biological work, Lamarck emphasized two key themes. Firstly, he believed that the environment played a crucial role in shaping and transforming animals. He pointed to examples such as the blindness in moles, the presence of teeth in mammals, and the absence of teeth in birds as evidence of how the environment influenced these changes. Secondly, Lamarck believed that life was intricately structured, with various parts of organisms working together to enable their organic movements. While Lamarck was not the first to advocate for organic evolution, he was the first to develop a comprehensive and coherent evolutionary theory. In his Floreal Lecture of 1800, followed by three later published works, he outlined his groundbreaking ideas on evolution. Drawing from the prevailing knowledge of his time and his own belief in Prelavoisier chemistry, Lamarck employed various mechanisms to explain the forces driving evolution. These mechanisms not only encompassed the shift from simple to complex forms but also included the adaptation of animals to their local environments, resulting in differentiation among species. Lamarck firmly believed that these forces were a necessary consequence of basic physical principles, aligning himself with a materialistic approach to biology. Lamarck's philosophy of evolution continues to resonate today, offering valuable insights for our daily lives. It reminds us of the profound impact that our environment can have on our personal growth and development. Just as Lamarck observed how animals adapted and changed based on their surroundings, we too can learn to adapt and evolve in response to the challenges and opportunities we encounter. Lamarck's philosophy encourages us to recognize the interconnectedness of all living beings and the importance of understanding and respecting our environment. Jean-Baptiste Lamarck, a renowned French biologist and philosopher, was a pioneer in the field of evolutionary theory. He believed in a fascinating concept called le pouvoir de la vie, which referred to the tendency of organisms to become more complex, moving up a ladder of progress. Lamarck saw this as a force that constantly worked to create and shape life's organization. Rejecting the modern chemistry of his time, Lamarck embraced the traditional alchemical view of the elements, influenced by earth, air, fire, and water. He believed that once living organisms were formed, the movements of fluids within their bodies naturally drove them to evolve towards greater levels of complexity. In his eyes, the physical principles of alchemy played a crucial role in this steady and predictable progression. Lamarck's view challenged the prevailing notion of a linear and fixed hierarchy in nature. He saw the process of evolution as ongoing, with simple organisms constantly being created through spontaneous generation. These simple life forms would then undergo transmutation over time, gradually becoming more complex. Although some have interpreted Lamarck as believing in a teleological process where organisms strive for perfection, he actually denied the existence of any perfecting tendency in nature. According to Lamarck, evolution was not driven by some mysterious life force or vitalist school of thought. Instead, he emphasized that it was a purely physical phenomenon, rooted in the fundamental principles of nature. His ideas hold significance even today as we seek to understand the complex processes of evolution and adapt to the ever-changing conditions of life. Do you want to explore more philosophers? Who do you want to see featured next? Subscribe and leave a comment below to let me know. I'll see you in the next video.